Welcome to our daily Bible study. I'm glad that you could be with us today and join us as we look at another piece from God's Word. Our text today is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Yes, it's a familiar text, but it is one that you can put in your heart and will encourage you to read and study and know God's Word. Let's break the word down just a little bit more. Notice, first of all, it says all Scripture is God-breathed. Now, you may be familiar with it being translated as all Scripture is inspired, but that word inspired and the word God-breathed both come from one word in the original language, theonusteros, which means, and it's from a compound word, and it's theos, which means God, and nusos, which means breathe. So literally it is saying all scripture is God breathed. Then it goes on to add, and is useful for, and it lists the things that the word of God is useful for. So here they are. Number one, it is useful for teaching. I love Deuteronomy 6, which tells the parents to to teach their children when they sit down, when they walk along the way, to know the word of God, to have it in their heart. Secondly, he says, it is good for rebuking. Now, rebuking sounds like a terribly negative word, uh, but sometimes teaching is not enough. If you've taught a child not to play in the street and it continues to play in the street, you go out and rebuke the child. It's a much stronger word than just teaching. And then there is the word correcting. All scripture is useful for correcting. Make sure that whoever you're talking to really knows the right way. I know children think that tests in school are just for the purpose of embarrassing or showing weaknesses or getting a bad grade, but the truth is only by seeing the faults of the student can a teacher know how to correct those faults. And the same thing is true in life. And then finally, he mentions training. Athletes train, cooks train, apprentices train. Don't you think you need training too? I love the old adage that says, don't act like you're the first one to walk the path. The truth is you're not. And others have walked it before you. So go to them and find out how they did it. Receive training. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Thanks so much for being with us today and studying this word. I hope that you will find this word important so that you will keep it in your heart and it will encourage you when you need to sit down and read God's word and know in your own mind what God wants you to do.